card trick, don't you think? Hello, I'm Richard Pinner. What I would prefer to do is have a little chat with you about forced focus. In the first instance, let's watch one of the tricks. Here, no cuts, no edits, filmed in my kitchen just the other day. And then, we'll keep that one safe, somewhere out of the way. Now, I need you to look at, you're gonna look at all the cards mm -hmm. really quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flick through them. Mm -hmm. They'll be mostly blurry. Okay. But I'm hoping that one of them, somewhere in the middle, stands out to you. Okay. Okay? If not, we can always do it again. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. No, I need you to do it. Okay. Absolutely fine. Okay. I think I got one. Yeah? Yeah. What was yeah. it? I think it was the Ace of Hearts. Okay. Right in the middle somewhere. I think so. Yeah. So let's see if we can find it. Yeah, let's see. Eight, no, no, you said eight. Three, six, nine, ten, and then in the middle. Four, that's sometimes people think that looks like an ace, sometimes the four. But here's the amazing thing. This is what I was trying to happen. Mm -hmm. There's 52, well, it's 52 cards on the table. Yeah. There's 51 cards here in front of you. I flicked through 51 cards. Oh no, what have you done? <laughs> I didn't do anything. You did this. You cut the cards, you took the card out. Your brain saw 51 cards go flying past, and the image you saw was of the one that was missing. You did it! The one that you took out at the beginning. How did you do that? I didn't, you did. That is totally mad! <laughs> Actual magic. If forced focus was just a one trick deck, it wouldn't be a bad trick, would it? But it's not, it's a principle. It allows you to decide which cards your audience can choose. Here, choose one of these, please. Now, I don't know which card you've chosen, but I do know it's one of these four, because those are the four I let you choose from. I also know that in this case, if we look through, the card you're thinking of has vanished. It doesn't need to be just one person, of course. I like to have two people choose cards, one black, one red, that way you know they're different. One to be revealed through direct mind reading, and the other is predicted in advance in the envelope she was holding right from the beginning. Contact free tossed out deck. Multiple selection of cards was the way this was originally conceived, to have four people each choose different cards in an online environment so I could read their minds individually. If you choose to join us on this journey, inside the box you get the core forced focus deck, 52 cards, and another dozen gimmicked cards to help out with all sorts of things. You get instant access to download the tutorials to keep forever, or watch online, of course, and an invitation to join us in our Facebook group, where we're discussing methods, presentations, and effects to do with this ingenious principle all the time. I do hope you choose to join us. We look forward to having you with us. Bye for now.